coming in with. Wow. Yeah. What is this song? I'm not I don't know. Gotcha. You guys just keep working. I'm gonna go. Matt recently <laughs> sat down with a group of some very smart people offering words of wisdom for the new year. Warren Buffett, Tony Robbins, San Antonio Mayor oh, Julian hey. Castro, and Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx. Matt began by asking the group, after so many economic starts and stops, what they expect in 2013. Is it ever a good idea, in any of your opinions, in, in a downtime when you've been battered and you've been through a tough time, to splurge? Treat yourself to something that improves your outlook on life. Good idea? Well, maybe occasionally, sure. Uh, but, but splurge means that you do it once in a blue moon, not, you know, folks that, that don't save, that, that, you know, spend their money in ways that they shouldn't. Matt, the best investment you can always make is in yourself. I, I took a Dale Carnegie course. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it cost me $100 when, when I was trying. It, it changed my life in a big way. I mean, before that, I was, I, I could not speak in public. I was a total disaster. And it gave me the chance. I was going to go and sell stocks, and I knew I had to be able to talk to people. And so anytime you can invest in yourself, you'll get a payoff, you know, a thousand for one. That's, that's a, oh, an amazing piece of advice, especially for the coming year. Have you done something like that? I, you know, the first thing that popped into my mind is when I could not really afford it, I splurged on a nice watch when I was selling fax machines door to door. And that watch became my symbol to myself that where I was headed. And it, it was just something I made a decision to do. I still have the watch. So, so inspiration. You needed that inspiration. That was inspiration for me. But it was also the belief in myself, like, I'm going to get there. I mentioned that you're all successful. You're all self-made. All right? Was the drive to succeed in your DNA? Or did you find it somewhere else? How about you, Mr. Buffett? I, I, I think it was, but I was encouraged by my father. I think if, 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 if I'd had a different parent uh, set of parents, I, it might have been different. Uh, but I, I always... I always like to do business. I, I, I like to buy, when I was five years old, I'd, I'd, I'd buy six Cokes from my grandfather's grocery store for a quarter and sell them for a nickel each. And then, I, I, maybe I can sell you something today. <laughs> Tony, is it in your DNA? Uh, caring about people did. Um, I, I think circumstances of pain made me look for answers. You know, I wasn't a popular kid. I loved people. But I was a kid that would go big cookies, believe it or not, as a guy and take them to the grocery store and take care of the people. I was the oldest of three and had a lot of responsibility. But it made me want to find answers, like what makes the difference in people lives and I became obsessed with it. Sarah? For me, I think it's part DNA and then part circumstance. You know, there were events that happened in my life that I think catapulted me even stronger into wanting to be self-independent financially. And as a woman, I've always had such gratitude for being a woman in America. I feel like that was part of my lotto ticket that I had no control over and I'm grateful for it every day. And so, you know, the, the people that have worked so hard to give me the opportunity in this country, that's exciting for me. Yeah, I agree. I think it's both, uh, both, you know, uh, the circumstances of how I grew up. Also, one of the neat things in my life is that I'm a twin. I have a twin brother, and I'm absolutely convinced that growing up, the competition between us as twins fueled both of our success. You know, we always wanted to outdo the other, and, and that made both of us more successful. Just a couple left. Um, let's say you're talking to someone out there who has tried. They've tried everything to be successful. And what would you say to that person who thinks maybe this just isn't going to work out for me. How do you encourage a sense of optimism in that person to keep digging? My dad lost his job in 1931. And I was one year of age. He had two kids. He had a mortgage on his house. Uh, he worked at a bank. The bank was closed. His money was in the bank. And he just started a company. He didn't have anything else to do. And for a year or two, it was tough. I mean, but America comes back, and you're, with, you're riding with the tide in this country, and you, just, you keep plowing ahead. Who you spend time with is who you become. Uh, and getting yourself in proximity with people that are succeeding, even if you have to work for free for somebody, get in the environment around them, it rubs off on you. You begin to think like they think. You begin to see what the opportunities are. One of the challenges in our country is when people are really doing poorly, we put them together in an environment where other people are doing poorly, and we wonder why they don't get better. I mean, for me, I, at a very rough time in my life, sat down and became very specific about writing down what am I good at? What do I know how to do? And one of the things on my list was sales, and I'd been selling fax machines door to door. And then I said, you know, I wrote down the words, I want to come up with an idea I can send to millions of people, sell to millions of people. So I was very specific. So I would tell these people, what do you want? Take the time to sit with yourself and be specific and ask for it. And then your life will start filling in the blanks. I'd say if, if, that if, if you take the time and the energy to invest in yourself uh, in all the different ways that you can, and you keep knocking on the door, I think everyone would agree that eventually 
that the door gets opened. Maybe it's not the biggest door in the world that you see right away, but a small door, but a door gets opened that can lead to, to the great things that, that folks are looking for. That's a great, great advice. Great yeah. collection of talent there, yeah, too. Absolutely. Take it from Money. them.